Chris, hi. Hey, how's it going? Come on in. Thank you so much for having me over. I'm just going to ask you 39 questions. Is that okay? Are you sure it's only 39? It is, I promise. Right. So, how did you start your day this morning? I uh, got up, had a good jog, a little workout, and a nice long meditation. And when you're not working, what do you love doing? I uh, love watching the Singapore Slingers play some basketball. Nice. And what's your hidden talent? Uh, pretending I can play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite part of your job? Uh, I love working with my team. They're the best. Oh, what's that? This this is a dagger and it is from Bhutan. It's uh, quite old and one of a kind. It's a very cool piece. Impressive. And I'm sure you get asked this question a lot, but why the name Peng Wai? So Max and I wanted to have a really fun label and we decided to name each of our wines after a different penguin. There are 14 of the 17 different penguins live along the coast of Chile. Wow, I didn't know that. So Chris, what's your all-time favorite bottle of wine? Uh, my favorite bottle of wine is the Penguin Gen 2 from 2008, which is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah. And what is one fact that people may not know about your wines? Uh, that we design all of our wines as blends, so they go with different styles and different cuisines, keeping them very balanced. Wow, nice. And if you could share a bottle of wine with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Uh, I'd love to share a bottle of wine with Eddie Vedder, preferably on stage. Is that Pearl Jam? Absolutely. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, Chris, we want you to open a bottle of wine. So how fast do you think you can do it? Uh, I don't know, I haven't actually well, timed myself. Let's find out. Here we go, I've got my All stopwatch. Right. Okay, Excellent. ready? Three, two, one, go. And what are we drinking then? Uh, this would be our Penguin King, and it is a blend of Cabernet, or Carmenere and Malbec. And it's a 50-50 blend from 2010 and it is the only blend of its kind in the world. Oh, nice. And can you tell me one misconception people have about Chilean wine? I think a lot of people think that Chilean wine is very cheap and therefore lower in quality, and it's actually not the case at all. And have you um, could, what? 20, okay, 27 seconds. That's right. really impressive. Fantastic. Nice. And um, have you cooked for any high profile guests before? Uh, do presidents of the United States count? They most certainly do, that's right. so cool. Yes, I have. Um, so what would you pair this wine with? I would pair this wine with any grilled meats. A uh, nice juicy steak would be fantastic. Oh, I could do with that right now. <laughs> um, and Chris, what's, what's that little sticker there for? So this sticker is our bronze award for, from the Decanter Wines of Asia. Ah, impressive. <sighs> Smells good? Hey. <laughs> to Thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. So Chris, the big question, white or red? Uh, both please. <laughs> Good answer. And what's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, I really get bothered by the sound of car horns honking, especially if they're honking at me. <laughs> Agree. Chris, wow, this view is amazing. Thank you very much. Partially designed it myself. <laughs> and where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in a small town in Ohio in the United States of America. And what is one thing I need to try if I'm there? If you get a chance to visit, I would definitely go to the Amish country and try some of the homemade cheeses. Oh, I definitely will. So, I hear that you have a party trick with two corks. Can I <laughs> give, us a, give it a go? Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to transfer this cork to this hand and this cork to this hand and without letting go of the corks. So, here we go. Ta -da, wow, like you're literally a magician, aren't you? <laughs> Amazing. You I, definitely, I definitely don't want to try. <laughs> So what's been your biggest achievement? Uh, so far, I really feel proud of myself for having learned to understand Spanish and to develop the Southeast Asia market. That's so impressive. And Chris, I'm one of Penguin's 22,000 Facebook likes, and I came across this post. So what exactly is it about? So this is a snapshot from A Penguin Affair, which is a short film that we made about 12 years ago, just as YouTube had first opened up. Wow, talk about vintage. And um, what's the story behind this photo? Uh, this photo would be more of a classic shot capturing what Penguin is all about, having fun. Nice. So what have been some of your highlights this year? So this year we've done some really great events. We were the official wine at the Garden Beats Festival in Singapore. We did the Covatella Fashion Show. We are the wine at Nickelback. And we had Gregory Porter. We've done a lot of really fun events uh, including, of course, the Singapore Slingers basketball games. That's amazing. And Chris, what's that just down there? Uh, this is a copy of my book called White or Red, It's All in Your Head. And why the name? 
60% uh, of sommeliers cannot tell the difference between a white wine and a red wine when blindfolded and the wines are at the same temperature. No way. So what's the general gist of the book then? Uh, I really wanted to write a book that would help people understand the wine industry and also be able to learn about wine very easily. Ah, interesting. And can you give me one fun fact that's featured in your book? Uh, did you know that all grape juice starts off as clear and it's the skins that give us our color? Would you like a copy? I would love a copy. Thank you so much. Cool. Can't wait to welcome. read it. And Chris, what's that just to your right over there? This is my Nepalese singing bowl and I use it for meditation and to find my vibration. Would you nice. care to hear it? I'd love to. Thank you. Can you feel that vibration? I definitely can. Wow. That's great. It's pretty cool, huh? So you're quite spiritual then? Uh, I try to be. And what's your spirit animal? My spirit animal would be the dragon. Nice. And how would your family describe you in three words? In three words, they would probably describe me as fun or funny, <laughs> uh, nice and very dedicated. Where are we going right now? Uh, how about we head upstairs? Okay. Yeah? I'm excited to see. Excellent. <laughs> After you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. So Chris, I hear your sparkling wine, the chin strap, has another name. What is it? Well, as you know, we're doing a lot of uh, play on words, and we like to call the chin strap Cham Penguin. That's pretty clever. So, what advice would you give your 20-year-old self? I would have to be sure to tell myself to learn how to meditate, and meditate often. And if you weren't a winemaker, what would you be? Uh, I'd love to be a race car driver. Go fast. <laughs> So Chris, what's the most terrifying thing you've ever done? Uh, the scariest thing I ever did was jumping out of a helicopter with a snowboard in New Zealand. Wow. And we all know the importance of sustainability. Can you tell me some initiatives Peng Wine is involved in? Well, we do fresh rainwater harvesting and we use the most amount of recycled glass we can in all of our bottles. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Oh. Hey guys. Uh, this is my team hard at work today. Hi guys. So, Chris, can you tell me something exciting that's coming up for Peng Wai? Uh, our expansion in the Southeast Asia is very exciting. You can expect to find us in seven countries throughout Southeast Asia very soon. Impressive. Wow, Chris, this view really is incredible. I Thank agree. you so much for answering these questions. I've really enjoyed it. Absolutely, my pleasure. Cheers. Cheers.